Hi everyone, Damien Fates here, and this is my long and uncut do nothing playthrough of Batman The Telltale series, where I chose to do nothing during the many dialogue, combat, and storyline choices in the game. This is a very long video, so apart from this intro, there won't be any commentary from me, but if you want to see the highlighted video, then check the links in the description below. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I'll see you at the end. Goodbye! Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. Breaking news. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile <laughs> Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Carry on, gents. Boss says it's time to get the bats' attention. Batman's sighted, boss. Right on top! Just leave these people. Stop them! Save our city! Commissioner! Commissioner! He's... He's gone. Alfred. Oh, thank God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent... Penguin improved the armor. Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me offing a police commissioner! Without your toys, you're nothing. 
Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on her, they'll go easy on you. If only looks could kill half as well as this drone. Ta-ta, Batman! One of his men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that... The Batsuit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce? Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable. But far from helpless. And meeting him as Batman would play right into his hand. I'm sure you'll find a way to turn the situation to your advantage. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan. And that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is... Wayne, get back! Martinez! I saw... some kind of... transmitter... hidden behind the statue. Give us room. Transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two-bit thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. Or listening to anyone, for that matter. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz.
bullies in Arkham. Those bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. I'll smash all the dumb faces. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got a wane in Cobblepot Park. Oswald! Bruce! Welcome! The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect lure! Not that I'm upset, but... What does bring you by, hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. Feels too good to be true. Still, I'm tough you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. I'm sure he'll swing by eventually. Ha! <laughs> he just can't help himself when lives are at stake. And when he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of the picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine, or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. You'll see. You're not right by all this brouhaha. It wasn't so long ago that you and me met in his very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Right? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? No, I wouldn't know what to say either. It must be hard knowing you once had it all. some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? If anyone could afford to keep that brute on the payroll, it's you. I know it. Turn it! to answer for. Oh, you bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? 
<laughs> Is that all you've got? Sure looks like it. Freedom is right. I'm gonna make sure that bastard never sees the light of day. You did your best here, Mr. Wayne. Gotham and the GCPD owe you. Thank you. It won't be forgotten. You think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. Never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist, and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up. let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Someone's gotta stop him. Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Ugh. Sure you're up for this? I have to be. Follow my lead. The Commissioner. They can't hold out much longer.
The commissioner, is he? God damn it! No! Not you two. I'm gonna tear that bastard apart. Krogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says... He says... Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all! Kelly! Get out of there! Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide! Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Alfred, are you safe? Yes. I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I've no doubt you'll come up with something. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. A fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life. And I've never seen an official I can believe in. Tell you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. Why, do you actually grow a backbone? Or did you just get tired of hiding? Well, you're here now. That's what matters. Now you can die. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but... I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. Stop whining! There's nothing you can do for me. This city needs to be purged of people like you. All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! Cops who don't take their mayor's uh, orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! No, please! <laughs> This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne.
And now, they'll pay the price. Ooh, not your lucky day. No! <laughs> Deborah, my not-so-faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear I Bring all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on chance. <laughs> I didn't do on it. the flip of a silver dollar. Morality has no place here. It's your lucky day, Deborah. <laughs> I don't think so. Bruce, I don't I don't know what to do. I can't decide. That's too much. That's too much, too much. I can't. <laughs> A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Wherever they put me, whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Nowhere is safe. You're gonna die. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, and I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn.
Your usual tea, and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down, even those whom you admire. Even those who loved you most. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I'll have to carry that with me for the rest of my life. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here, and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. 
The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better luck. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? Uh, I suppose there is no honor amongst thieves. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. <sighs> okay, tall, dark, and broody. I know you're not here just to stare at me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. You know, your glares are a lot less scary without the suit. Catch. Go glare somewhere else. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. 
<laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. As a mark, that is. Cat got your tongue? Luckily, the job's over now. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. You know I'm right. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Then we both know what would happen. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. Good. Because I need you to understand something. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Glad we agree. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred.
blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung so hard it broke in half. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon, broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. 
Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state-of-the-art. This ends tonight. Heading into the basement. Be careful. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. There's a small room with a hole in the floor. I'm going inside. Bruce, 
What's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here. Locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? It's barbaric. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. One piece apart from the others. Red. Hmm. The same color as my tech. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Asylum. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He spelled it out here. Taking me. And used Vicky's own drawing of Arkham for the location. Arkham? No. The staff would see them. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. CPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Gotham won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. Enough of this. Your time's run out. Do, Batman. You 
underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one!
inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> Batman. 
I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? <laughs> Fine. Take your secrets to the grave. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came... you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. I just find it odd. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. I don't need an answer. I'll pry that hood off when you're dead. See the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> Now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. <laughs> Thought so. You're just like him, just as guilty.
as to last week's events at Arkham Asylum. A spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it... <laughs> It's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain gone. I'm sure you've considered the consequences. I just can't help but worry. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. <clears throat> so, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. We are currently awaiting newly appointed Acting Police Commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as Acting Police Commissioner... Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. 
Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? Got it. Well, I appreciate the extra pair of eyes. City's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. Look, I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? <laughs> Had a feeling you'd say that. You know, I always wanted this. To be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. I should probably be used to that by now. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. I asked him to speak here tonight, but he's a man of action, not words. We need men and women like that, heroes who will fight to lift Gotham out of the darkness, rather than simply talking about making a difference. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. to lock up. And just minutes ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Perhaps one is... Let Gordon know. Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving? What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. I don't mean that as an insult. Gotham needs a golden boy. Most of our other public figures are a bit more tarnished. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. 
That wouldn't have been the worst PR move. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. <clears throat> if my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Brucey. Thanks for watching this episode of What If You Do Nothing. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing with your friends, or subscribing for more. Your support is always appreciated. Also, check out some of these other videos which I think you might enjoy. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!